We have one IP that we do um, as part of our core four, like our always brands. Yeah. And that's the scientist. And what makes the scientist special is this is our IPA. We do it year round, but we change it every single batch that we brew. Okay. And we don't change it a lot. We don't do this major overhaul of the recipe. We're changing one, one component, one small component. So one hop gets changed out really? of four. Or one malt. So this beer starts as a base of pale malt. It's about 95% all of it is pale malt. It's very, you know, very, very crisp and, and, and light, light golden. And that remaining 5% can be made up of something else. Uh, maybe a crystal malt or a caramel malt or a, a wheat malt or perhaps we'll put rye in it. Or maybe we'll just use plain cane sugar. Um, there's a lot of different options there. We keep this 5% where we maybe change that malt. If we're changing the malt in the beer, we're not going to change our hops. So maybe this batch, we've been doing the same hops for quite a while. We've had the same set of hops in this beer for about four batches. And we've been changing which malts we're using. Yeah. Well, the next one, we're going to keep the malts exactly the same. And we're going to take one hop out and switch it with something else. So each time we do this beer, we change either a hop or a malt, but it's never this huge shift. So it's always going to read as the same beer, yeah. there's subtle differences batch to batch. Really? And that lets us play around, it lets us see like, what happens to this kind of an IPA if we put rye in it? Or what, there's a new hop called Denali, what does that hop taste like when we put it in this beer? And it just kind of gets us a way to figure some things out a little bit. That's why we call it the scientist, because it's like yeah. a little, little progress, a little kind of um, study that we do with our IPA. Right. And so we track everything, so it gets a, it gets a letter and a number. So this is batch, uh, I believe it's 2U. Okay. And the 2 references the malt, and the U references the hops. Is there a scientist that has stayed on tap, like, or that you bring back on tap? Nope. No, no. It, it will always change. It will always change. We force ourselves into the constraint of this beer will always be different. That's amazing. So we'll reuse rye, but we're never going to reuse rye in the same combination of hops that we did the last time we did rye. You know what I mean? So right now we're drinking 2U. Yeah. I'm never going to brew 2U again. I can use hops too, or I can use the letter U, but I'm not going to put two and U together again. So that way, we've got this roster of here's a whole bunch of malts to play with, here's various versions of hops that we've done. We're never going to go back and repeat the exact batch that we've done in the past. We make a lot of IPAs here. Yeah. So for this one, the idea was we're going to force ourselves to constantly change it.